All right, so for once I did what I said I was gonna do, and that is that I said that I was gonna progress through the Dirt Rally career offline, but like not on camera. And so I did that, right? And I mean, uh, I'm kind of disappointed, but at the same time, I'm kind of proud of myself that I did this. But the reason I was trying to uh, progress through the career mode is because I already wanted to buy a new car and uh, start progressing through the Dirt Rally uh, championships with a different car. Hopefully my camera is uh, stabilized correctly. Well, in frame basically because I don't have, I, I've already mentioned this, like I, I, I don't have the software that I use to um, like monitor myself. Anyways, that's not the point. Um, I went ahead and bought a brand new car for us to use in the career mode. So I ended up buying the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo X. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy this vehicle. If you guys have seen me play in this vehicle before, it's probably one of the best handling ones that I've tried myself so far. And um, I, I bought that because I thought that after we finished that last championship, um, I didn't realize that we had three uh, different, well, six actually, six different events on this championship. And I, each, each event basically has like six different stages that we have to do. And some are long, some are not especially the one in Sweden, I really hate those. But I guess, I mean, there's nothing else that we can do, honestly. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, I, I kind of want to do Pike's Peak today. I, I'll progress through the championship some other time, probably offline, until we can actually go ahead and drive our new Evo. All right, so enough chit chat, chat shit get banged. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started with this uh, Pike's Peak kill climb. So here we go. Um, I've actually felt pretty great uh, playing this game recently. I don't know, I, I, we did get an update. Uh, I think it was like maybe like three or four weeks back. It was like, I think it was just a stability. I honestly didn't check the patch notes for it. But I feel like ever since uh, that, um, that update dropped or that patch, I feel like I've had way more control over my vehicle. Like I feel like I'm actually doing way much better than before. And I honestly, I don't know, man. I feel like my driving has improved ever since that patch. I don't know if they did something behind the scenes where I do have more control over my vehicle, but I just want to say that thank you for that patch. It really has made a difference in my driving. But anyways, here we are. First section done, and we did kind of poorly right there. We kind of, we, we're three seconds behind the main time that we have to beat. So we're going to have to push it here. And you got to be careful since we don't have any pace notes and these hill climbs to not overdo some of these turns and just go in too hot. I know sometimes we do end up doing that, you know, and uh, we end up just messing the whole thing for like the whole uh, damn um, stage. But anyway, here we are feeling good. Oh my God, here we go, here we go. Now we gotta be really careful. Here we gotta be real okay. We gotta throw it in here. Oh my God, we're still, we still have the same time. We still have the same pace going, but Oh no, how the hell are we sliding off? We still have the same pace going, but we are still three seconds behind the time that we have to beat. So, man, we're gonna have to, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I really hate those little, I don't even know what they are. I feel like they're little blocks of like compacted sand that they just put there in order for us not to cut. Anyways, I really hate those because, oh, okay, here we go. I really hate them because if even you maybe spray them, you will end up throwing the car in a spiral that you cannot control, man. And you end up, at least for me, I end up getting so pissed off because it has happened to me where I end up clipping those things like towards the very end of a stage and end up just messing the whole stage up for me. All right, so uh, we're doing uh, we're doing kind of poor, to be honest. We're five seconds behind the time that we have to beat. And a good thing that we do have a second run to go at it. We're, we're gonna need it, man. We are definitely gonna need that second run because I feel like right there we're just wasting maybe like two seconds. So, I okay. I feel like we're gonna get like a time difference of like plus seven. So, we definitely gonna have to get another run going into this. But here we go. We're gonna try to finish off this last section pretty strong. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. Probably overestimated, but yeah, with the time difference of plus nine maybe. Oh man. All right, here we go, run two. Hopefully this one can be can be the run. So I've noticed, uh, at least for myself playing, um, that I end up doing way better whenever I'm not talking and just end up focusing completely on what I'm doing. So 
I'm going to try to be quiet here. I'm going to take the face cam off and hopefully I'll see you guys here almost like towards the end of the uh, third stage. Not third stage, but third section. So, peace. Um, scratch that. I don't think, man, I don't think that I'm going to be able to beat this time. Oh, I just lost complete concentration right there. I don't know if you guys noticed, but as I was, as I was breaking through that turn right there, I panicked and I pulled that e-brake, man. And that was probably the, the worst mistake I could have made because as soon as you rip that e-brake, you lock all those wheels and so you're just sliding without any control of the vehicle so I mean you can't turn it but I mean you're just basically sliding I feel like I'm sliding on ice so I didn't have no control oh my god okay okay I kind of oh my god I kind of didn't pay attention there man not kind of man I didn't pay attention there I looked away but as I was trying to say right there man the worst thing you can do in a panic situation at least here in Derg Rally is just ripping that e-brake especially if you're playing in hill climb and you're doing Pikes Peak, man. Oh my lord. But here we go. I know for a fact we're not going to beat that time. And, uh... Oh man. I am just hoping that I don't wreck this vehicle. Alright, already, man, we're being kind of reckless. Oh, I'm not paying. I don't know. I keep on losing focus for some damn reason. But, oh my lord. We're going to throw it in here. Hopefully, keep this hairpin pretty good. Here we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. There we go. Another mistake that I'm finding myself that I, I'm catching myself doing today is that, like, okay, okay, okay. Oh, man, th there it is again. And we lost the wing there, but as I was trying to say, the another thing that I, I've, I've caught myself uh, doing by mistake here is that I am holding the throttle all the way down. And what, like I said, I was doing this offline and trying to progress, and I found myself being in a better rhythm and a better groove whenever I didn't hold the throttle all the way down and that is because whenever you're doing these uh, dirt rally stages especially in the hill climb ones you don't know what's coming up and so you could be going full throttle full speed through like a stretch and the next thing you know you have like an acute turn and then by the time you realize that it's like too late and you end up like flying off but we ended up coming in fourth place with our first one being the best. We had a time difference of nine seconds behind first place. We didn't uh, mess up the car too bad, as you guys can see there. Maybe just, you know, the, the spoiler cost is maybe like 1300 But we did get 30k credits, which is not too bad. I will take that. So as you guys can see here, that was probably the first event out of three. We're in fourth place. It's something that we can redeem ourselves. We can, uh, I, I'm hoping that we can push back and end up, uh, as you guys can see already, we can, we already in club it. So hopefully we can come back and beat those times and progress to the next prestige, I guess, which is professional. But anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you didn't, make sure to leave a like. Dislike it if you dislike it. Subscribe to the channel for more Dirt Rally videos. And I want to apologize to you guys for not being able to upload this last week. Um, I really wanted to get uh, put out for you guys at least four videos. But man, it just... Some, some stuff just came up that, like, ah. Uh, and for me, at least whenever I record videos, I have to feel like, I, like I, I'm in the mood to these things. I don't like to do it when it feels rushed or it's because I have to do it. Like today, man, I really, really felt like doing this and it feels like it's going to be a great video. So yeah, hopefully I can come back strong next week. For you guys, I improve the content overall for this channel. I hope you guys do enjoy my videos each and every day. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you guys for so much for liking these videos. It really means a lot to me as I was, I know I haven't said in a while, it really means a lot that you guys subscribe and like my videos, and like honestly. But I feel like I've already rambled on too much at the end of this video. So I will see you guys here next week. I hope you all have a good ass weekend. Have a good one. Take it easy and peace. Oh, yeah.